Hey, how's it going? I'm Ashley from the Tech Plague, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to install Backtrack 5 and how to set up wireless on there. So, connecting to a Wi Fi. Now, I have tried this, and <laughs> I fucked up. Oh, oh, I, I really did fuck up. Oh. Okay, um, so yeah, this is gonna be entertaining. Right, so what you need to do is we're going to first get backtrack so in your favorite search engine type down backtrack 5 and let's go to backtrack 5 then go downloads and then i just received the text wonderful oh well so go to downloads download what i just did there basically backtrack 5 as you can tell i'm quite angry because i've done this several times now <laughs> oh i'm really annoyed right backtrack 5 r3 now i use gnome and a 32 bit architecture at the moment. This, but I would recommend. I, I I don't know why, but when I first did this, I did 32 bit, and that's what I've downloaded, and I can't be bothered to download the 64 bit anymore. So, good choice 32 bit or 64 bit? Good choice. I did 32 bit because I'm lazy. I can't be bothered to download it. And I did torrent because I'm even lazier, and that's a lot faster. Click to download, and voila. Now you're probably wondering hey, Ashley, what's the difference between GNOME and KDE? Well, Interested viewer, the difference between GNOME and KDE is simply displayed in these little screenshots I'm about to display when it finishes loading. There we go. My bad, it took a while. Right, this is GNOME. This is like in a class of its own. It's, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's different. It's like, I don't know. Um, what, I, I don't know. I don't know, it, it's gnome, it's different, it's like, sexy, I like it. Anyway, that's what I install, gnome, and the other one is KDE, which is this. This is like a Windows 7 style, with your start menu, your applications down here, your whatever section they call this in Windows, I forget now, it's like task something or other, <laughs> hell if I can remember, but yeah. So, GNOME KDE, hey voila. Uh, after you finish downloading, you open VMware. You you should be able to find VMware. It's relatively simplistic. And then you go to Chrome, or Google, whatever. You go VMware Player. And then, what you do is you don't buy it online. You download the free version, whatever the hell that may be. It's on this website somewhere. Downloads, then, then, somewhere within this mystical player, found it. Uh, oh my god, he, he seems shocked that I've done the recording wrong. Not now, the previous one. Yeah, so after clicking download, uh, what you pretty much do you download it, you install it, blah, 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 blah. You should be able to do this by now. Once you've installed it, you open it, and there's VMware. I've already tried this, as you can see, and it works perfectly. But now, after installing it, I need to delete it. Wonderful, right? So, we go ahead, create a new virtual machine. I will install the operating system later. Now, if you're running 32-bit, you go... Other Linux 2.6x kernel. If you're running 64 bit, the 64 bit one. I'm running 32 bit because I'm a derp. And voila. <sighs> Backtrack 5 R3. Needs at least 20 gigs of memory, or at least that's what I suggest. Uh, customize the hardware. I'm going to set, give this 2048 megs, which is 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, you can set how many processes you want on there. Ah, so the new CD thing. Into go use ISO image, browse for it there. I already have it here. No 32 bit love thingy. And that's all good. So close it off and finish. Great. And then we play the virtual machine. And this should start loading up quite nicely. Ah. Now we wait. Oh, now we press enter and enter again and now we wait again after you've got to this bit now 
it will, it will show this little thing down here. I don't have a mouse because we don't have it yet. Anyways, you just type start x and that will launch into Backtrack. Now we wait. Okay, so now Backtrack has loaded. We go to install Backtrack. You can right click and just open it. Or you can double click it, your choice. Now we wait. Oh, it's finished. Okay, I'm just going to maximize that. So I'm going to click the English and I'll go forward. Now we wait. Ah, so United Kingdom, United Kingdom, this region's time zones, forward again. Ooh. All right, keyboard, look. oh dear God. Sorry, I just had fears, so I'm a bit gassy. Right, keyboard layout, United Kingdom, it's perfect. Blah, 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 Seems perfect. Forward. Right. Uh, okay, so now we're here. Um, yep, we'll just erase that. Forward again. And now we wait. You notice how it's on step four of seven? Oh, wait, no, 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 you'll see that later. Hang on. So step four of seven. Oh, what? Step seven of seven? Did you just skip five and six? Hmm, bit, bit strange, I've never got that really. Like, does it do five and six without me, or? Yeah. Oh well, so this will now start installing. This will take, for me, another hour. Now I'm gonna make sure I actually pause this thing, so you're gonna see Camtasia open. Enjoy. Ah, pause. Okay, now that this is done, I just want you to click restart now, and this should restart it. Ah, this took me quite a bit to do actually. Sitting around watching YouTube whilst it, whilst it was working its magic. Click enter. And now we wait even more. I'm gonna scroll down. Just go through all this. Oh, a bit gassy. I've had uh, some lemonade, so I uh, had to pass the time somehow, and I was thirsty, so one thing led to the other. Uh, see how late I start for you guys, eh? 20 to 1. Alright, uh, root is the default username, and T-O-O-R is the default password. So tour. And you type in start x to start. Ah. And this should start up the operating system. Which is backtrack. Five R3. Uh, 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 uh oh. Dun 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 cat. Get off my desk. You don't belong up here, cat. Anyways, my cat started climbing. Bad kitty. Nice. So that's done now. Uh, what I need you to do? Because it's all installed. La 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 la. La. Pretty much what I've done is I've plugged in a little Wi-Fi adapter, and this is what I'm going to use to connect to my Wi-Fi. Now I need to make sure it's connected through here. So you go player, removal devices, and there it is. There's my Wi-Fi. Yours will obviously be different. Now let's go check if it's connected. So go to the terminal. Right, full screen now. I have config. So it's like IP config, but if config, I guess. Well, so yeah, started on WLAN 0. Remember that, alright? Remember what WLAN is. Mine's WLAN 0, so I need to remember that. So what we do, we go to applications, internet. WICD and Network Manager. Open that. And we wait. And we click OK. And then we click Preferences. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So make sure the wireless interface is set up for WLAN 0, like it is here. Mine's for some weird reason already set up like that. But yeah, make sure it's set up for WLAN 0. That's all good. Disconnect from the wired. Let it refresh. And then you connect to your Wi-Fi. I'm going to go do that now. 
Uh, you click properties by the way and type in your Wi-Fi key. Anyways, I'm going to do that now. See you in a sec. Okay, so I've typed that in and that's validating authentication and this should finish connecting soon. Nice. But yeah, this is pretty much how you connect your Wi-Fi. Really simple, but not simple. Yeah. Well, it's not simple when you're using a virtual machine like this. Anyways, now that's done. I close the window and we'll quickly run a test to make sure it's working all properly. So open your terminal, full screen it, and just type in mon ng And you'll see that we have the WLAN interface here. This is the chipset and driver, blah, 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 blah. We're just concentrating WLAN 0 here. So we do mon ng start WLAN 0. And that sets up a mon monitor for WLAN 0 called mon 0. So we just do mon ng. I've received the text. <laughs> mon ng. And we'll see we have the mon 0. So we do arrow dump dash ng. Whoops. I spelled arrow dump wrong there. Arrow dump dash ng on mon 0. Now, what this pretty much displays is all the networks that you you know, that you have in range. So every network that you can possibly connect to that you're that you're in range of at this point. And I'm not in range of many good networks by the looks of it. Or at least they haven't appeared yet. They do take a while sometimes. Oh, sleep time. Oh. Dan Dan's going to sleep. You know, well, I'll keep spending the night long. Anyways, so this is just a little test, really. It's just making sure we can actually find networks, and we can. We can find the network that I'm connected to and some Sky Network somewhere near to me. Okay. Yeah, apparently, it's very good student. I'm going to ignore that. <sighs> Anyways, you can do Control C, and that will stop it, and then clear, clear the screen. But psst, it's actually still up here. Just don't need to know that. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah. That's the little test. Quite nice. We're going to do more on that later with networks. And uh, we're also going to be setting up Apache server. And the next tutorial that we're actually going to be doing will probably be... Ooh, what's a good tutorial? Ah, I got it. Something cool. We're going to be doing a bit of hacking. Okay. Hacking into computers. Alright. I'll see you soon. Goodbye and remember to comment, subscribe, like, dislike if you really want to, but I prefer it if you didn't. So just like and uh, come back next time and uh, watch some more of this backtrack stuff. I'm doing some cool hacking. It's really fun. Anyways. Oh, one thing to mention. Any hacking that I do on this channel is for educational purposes. You may not use this in unauthorized areas like, I don't know, on a bank or something. Like, you need authorization to do this. I have authorization because I'm going to be doing it on my own machine. But, you know, just don't do it legally. Do it legal. Do it on your own systems, not someone else's. If you really want to, don't. You'll probably be caught because most of these exports I'm showing you are really outdated and barely work anymore and are easy to detect anyways. But they're funsies to do anyways. Alright. Um, they're good for trolling your friends as well if you're on the same network as them. Anyways. See you later. Comment. Like. Subscribe. Blah 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 blah. My name's Ashley. And I'm signing out of the tech play. See ya.